Hey everybody, welcome back into the studio for another edition of Youth Baseball Midwest and Huzzah! We have the fellas, Dave and Dave, back with us. It's been a while. It's been a while since we've been on the set, right? Been a while, Brian. Good to see you again. Good to yeah, see you thanks guys. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. Uh, always a pleasure, man. Love to talk uh, Game Seven baseball, and uh, you know it was a rough one, right, guys? Twenty twenty one. Yeah, but hey, you know what? It's... We're here talking with you, so therefore we weathered the storm, and we're going to be back at it in twenty one. There you go. And you know what? The parents were. We're good. People were were uh, good umpires. Everybody that worked hard. I mean, because it did take the parents, the clubs, the teams, everybody understanding the situations. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Understanding. They were very, very grateful for what we did. I mean, it was it was literally week to week, day by day, and some weekends hour by hour to where we right. maybe the the guidelines have changed from county to county and. Uh, we worked diligently to, to find a place to play, whether it be a, a whole different county. And they were very receptive of that to, you know, and that's not only the parents and the coaches, that's also the umpires. They were willing to to up and relocate. So man, I can't thank those guys enough. I think that's the difficult thing, right? You guys said we're dealing with just logistics, right? And getting people where they needed to be. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, we usually advertise our events where they're gonna be and yeah, you got to change three zip codes to accommodate, and they were welcoming. They wanted to get out there and play, so we appreciate it. That was awesome. That's awesome. And to all the umpires, you know, because we had uh, – we talked to um, Kenny Seifer from Misha the other day and mm -hmm. talking to him about these very issues they're still dealing with, you know. He says, I could, I could leave this program and tell you one thing right here, and when we get off the air, he said, it's not going to be the same. So I think that uh, that's a difficult proposition. So kudos to you guys, um, kudos to the parents, the umpires, everybody for for making it successful, you know, and, and getting out and being able to play ball, getting the kids on the field. I think that's great, right? Yeah, not only their attendance showing up, but it was great, you know, relocating. They, we also had to adhere to some, you know, special guidelines. Right. Early in the year, we had to, you know, call balls and strikes from behind the plate. Not an easy task whatsoever. Actually, you were behind the mound, right? I'm sorry, behind, yeah, behind yeah. the mound. Thank yeah. you, thank you. Yes, and that's not a very easy task by calling from behind the mound, or the plate. Now you're putting them behind the mound. But they did a great job for the most part, and we had to do that in order to get in some of these parks and there are guidelines, and they did a great job with it. That's they were awesome. very accommodating. Everybody was, so well appreciated. That's awesome. So, guys, let's uh, <clears throat> let's move to our next topic. We're, to, we're let's let's move to twenty twenty one. Right? Let's Thank get you. there. Let's go, let's go there. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. So we've got some. Uh, you guys have just got your schedule up. Not all of it, but you have put up quite a bit on the on the website. Right. Go to the website game seven baseball dot com. I know I've been watching Facebook. If you're following Facebook, Dave's been putting the stuff up, all the different venues and, and the, the tournaments coming up. So we're going to talk a few a little bit about that today. So, guys, I'm going to let you jump in here. Where, where do you want to start? I guess in March, our first uh, 2021 date is March 19th back at uh, beautiful Ballparks of America down in Branson with the uh, Shamrock Shootout. And why why you guys chose to go down? I mean, you used to do that. I remember when the Shamrock Shootout was actually one of your indoor, indoor events, yeah. right? Yes, it was. <laughs> you have a good memory, Brian. <laughs> it's that's the start. I mean, down there in Branson, it's a great venue. It's a hundred percent turf, so you never know in March. You know, with the temperatures and the and the ground, uh, you'll get some ball in playing on turf down there. So we're excited to be back down there. Very good, very good. So we got the Shamrock Shootout. What comes next, guys? What do we got up here? Move into April, um, the Masters, always a favorite. Uh, the Green Jackets, you know, winners get the Green Jackets. Uh, we got Missouri and Illinois locations for that event, so that's that's always a favorite. Where are you going to be in Illinois, guys? Over at O'Fallon. Oh, okay. Yep. That, O'Fallon that, Family uh, Sports family Complex. Spo yep. Yeah, that's a yep. nice park. As over well there. as the turf, as well over there. So very good. Now is the O'Fallon Sports Park? That's the that's the clay and grass, right? That's not turf There's, there? There yeah. is two fields that are turf. There's two fields that are turf. 
And then you, they're building that. Is it, where's that new park at? Uh, that they are. That's all turf, right? That's in, in Edwardsville. That's another venue we have. Okay, but that's not the same not, one. Not for, no. That's a different okay. venue. Okay. I just want to make sure. I'm I'm trying to keep it all. Everybody's building stuff. Oh yeah. Edward. Oh yeah. <laughs> So you'll be in uh, in O'Fallon and O'Fallon, O'Fallon, Illinois, and Missouri, Missouri locations, different Missouri locations. Okay, so. okay, I haven't got those all just set just yet, right? Uh, they're posted. The Missouri ones are posted on the site. I think we're at numerous venues that weekend in Missouri. So gotcha, bud. Gotcha, so. gotcha, gotcha. I got my cheat sheet, but I, got, you know, <laughs> we got a lot of events <laughs> on there, so. <laughs> In May, work into May, we'll, we'll highlight a May event. Of course, it's our 10th annual Cinco de Mayo. Um, who doesn't want sombreros, right, Dave? <laughs> Always a crowd favorite. <laughs> I just like to listen to Dave speak Spanish. <laughs> I do need to brush all up on that. Thanks for reminding me. That, however, yeah, <laughs> it's always a large event. I mean, hundred plus teams, uh, multiple venues this year. We're in the St. Louis area for multiple venues. We're down at Paul Parks of America for the Cinco de Branson for that weekend. Awesome. And we're also, we're going back to Marion, Illinois. We'll be at Ray Fossey Park that weekend. And uh, Marion, Illinois, glad to be going back there. So That's awesome. And I see you also going to be down in Afton this year? We will shows? be down in Afton uh, this year uh, for a few events down there in Afton. So That's awesome. I think we have like three on there. Uh, yeah, three weekends in Afton, I believe. Talk with yeah, I just saw the Cinco de Mayo one here yeah. on the website. Yep. That is going to be one of those. Clay in over there. I, you know, I've, I've known Clay for a while and uh, actually played ball at Mobab with Clay. So I uh, was able to incorporate some dates in Afton this year. That's awesome. You know, it's funny, guys. It, 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 well, I don't know, funny. That's a bad word, but it's it's so cool looking at this. I mean, I remember when you started the Cinco de Mayo one. It was just you know this. Uh, there's four different, you know, as you said, Branson, Illinois, your dad, and all over. That's great. It's such a big tournament. I think people really enjoy that one, don't they? They do. It's always a favorite. What we got next, Dave? June. Let's look at the month of June. Uh, we have our state tournament on tap. There was it the first weekend of June. First weekend correct, of June Dave? is the state championship. Always a favorite. It's all welcome to all states. So I think, <laughs> I think we had uh, 130 plus scheduled last year. Now, why? I, I'm just curious and just just asking the question. Okay, we got you guys. I know it's Game Seven State Championship. Um, so and you open it up to all. So they're crowned. You're allowing no matter what state to come into the state championship. What was your thinking on that? Just just curiosity. Question. What we do, what we mean by that, I mean, Tennessee, Jody has her own down there. Mm -hmm. It's for the states uh, that we're not presently in right now. So, like, gotcha. you got Arkansas and Kentucky. We're in, we're in Kentucky for a few events. But uh, different states, Oklahoma and stuff, that we don't have a Game 7 state championship, championship there. They're more than welcome to come here to St. Louis. There you go, fellas. Get in quick. What else we got, guys? Uh, June is the, we have two of the elite invitational events. We had them last year, uh, powered by the Missouri Gators. Um, a couple of the Gators teams always work with us to recruit teams into the St. Louis area. Brings a lot of top competition. We have a 12U division this year and a 14U division. Oh, that's going to be good. Yeah. That's going to be good. Because that 14, 13U last year was good. Yep. It was it that that has been as you've watched that and we I was looking at the rankings, <clears throat> and that thirteen U division when you guys look at your game seven rankings, I mean in the major division AAA there was like five or six teams that are ranked in travel baseball rankings in the in their top two hundred nationally, um, so and a lot of the and they're playing with you guys a lot so that thirteen U going into that fourteen U that's going to be that's going to be a fun one to watch. Yeah, and then the uh, the 12 this year, Jeff Sauer helps us with that with the Gators, does a phenomenal job. Uh, last year before all the COVID hit, the brand new park you alluded to over in Edwardsville, Illinois, it was scheduled over there, and it sold out in, I think, December, and it was loaded with talent. Man. Loaded with talent. So thanks, Jeff. You do a great job helping promote that tournament, and uh, it should be another good one this year. And that, that one is a five-game minimum on that one, so – Oh really? Yeah, and like like he said last year, I think we had twenty eight to thirty something teams from t twelve different states. So it's uh, it's always a favorite. So 
Better have some the pitching. Fourth, right? Yeah, and then the, yeah, you're exactly <laughs> right. So, sorry, I, I had nope, to throw that in there. Go ahead. Dave. No, you're good. <laughs> you're good. And like I said, the 14U, 13U last year, 13U was probably one of our biggest divisions overall through all of our events last year. So, uh, we're looking forward to that one. So, absolutely. Uh, so what, what are we finishing with here this year? Well, I don't know if it's finished. We usually finish with our July World Series, but it doesn't stop there usually now. It's, uh, we we kind of go on year-round now. So, no, yeah, our World Series, uh, June 30th through July 1st, uh, July 4th, sorry about that, uh, opening ceremonies at Bush Stadium once again with the warning track parade uh, for all the ticket holders to the Cardinal game, skills competition, uh, we'll be out at Chesterfield, and we'll be out at Grand Slam in St. Peter's. Um, and July 4th, people wondering if we're playing on July 4th. The event should wrap, it, wrap up by early afternoon of July 4th, and they can stick around at Chesterfield because they got their fireworks display this wow. year at the park. So, Hey, I think, you know, and we talked about this last year because you guys did have it scheduled over the 4th of July weekend, and I know that was a big topic of conversation. You guys were, you know, thought a lot about that thought long and hard. And I think it's a fair, you know, fair question. But to me, I think it's a great opportunity to, to take a little vacation, travel, see, I mean, St. Louis has a lot of great uh, opportunities around here with the arch and get downtown, you know, I mean, take a, take a stroll. Um, now we have the aquarium downtown as well. Um, so there's a lot of opportunities here to, to enjoy a nice weekend, especially if the Cardinals are in town, which there you go. And so the firework events, there's, a, like you said, that one there in Chesterfield is big every year. So there's a lot, there's plenty of opportunity with those things. And I think it's just a great opportunity to enjoy the 4th of July around, you know, it's, it's, it's baseball, it's apple pie, it's Americana, right? Yeah. All right. And that's why we do it. We work around the Cardinal schedule. We want it to, we schedule our World Series when they're in town. So I think it's that Wednesday night is the Cardinal game. People love coming to town and catching a Cardinal game and checking out the other venues in the St. Louis area. So and our opponent is the Arizona Diamondbacks that, that particular night. So uh, I talked with our Cardinal rep a couple weeks ago, and uh, apparently Major League Baseball is supposed to make an announcement in regards to somewhat of a attendance policy, whether it be 25, 50, 100 percent. It may change like last year. Who knows? Right. But, uh, right now it's – they're going to make an announcement, I think, on the 15th in regards to uh, tickets and, and whatnot. So hopefully we have some more clarity on that. Is that December 15th, Bud? I'm sorry, January 15th. January 15th, okay. And check our website. I mean, we'll have our Cardinal page uploaded with the dates that we offer for all the other events, as well as that one. Any information, as soon as they pass on information to us, we'll put it out there. Very good. Guys, remember that. If you're not following uh, Game 7 um, – either on Facebook or nowhere to go for their website. Follow them on Facebook at Game 7 Baseball. It's Game7Baseball.com. Make sure you you put those things in place there. So World Series, and, and like you said, it doesn't really finish there, does it, guys? That's July, and I know you got some other stuff that follows along into that. Um, you've got uh, some high school uh, opportunities this year. Um, looks like, and you're going, then, then fall ball going in similar fashion, right? I'll touch on the high school. I mean, I don't know how many times me and Dave, Hey, we <laughs> want to see you guys put some more high school events. We love what you guys do. We've played with you since seven U we're getting to that age. We want to play, put some high school events. So we did this year, we got eight weekends out there offered for 15 U through 18 U at different venues through the St. Louis area. So uh, we're excited about that, and a lot of the feedback we've received from coaches, they're happy to hear it. So Very look good. forward to have some high school events with Game 7 this year. Um, touch on different variety of events this year. We mentioned the Turf Championship Series we always have on turf. Best of the Midwest we have every year. We got three events this year. They're all on turf, two in Branson, one in Edwardsville. Um, Wood Bat, that's always a favorite. You have that right. in July. Um, the Cup Championship. If you see the logo with the Stanley Cup and, uh, and the blue and the jerseys yeah. were given out to all the winners. We we were going to do that last year, but you know the <laughs> pandemic. So we're going to try it again this year. So very good. But that would be a good one. And then once again, uh, 
just talk with Mike Morgan and just finalized it. Uh, happy to be a part of the second annual Jordan Morgan Memorial Tournament this year, so in July. So That's awesome. That was a great event. Yes, it was. It was. I remember we, we were out there oh, yeah. with Dave, and, and uh, there was so many people came out and supported that. And I really, there was just every, there was a, there was a team out there that had come out because they had just had a team member pass away mm -hmm. from a, a disease and they were honoring him by playing in that term. It was just, it was really yeah. cool what was going on there. And I think that's so great you guys are doing I that. I kind of wish every weekend could be like that outside of the extreme heat, you know, just right. the, the aura, the atmosphere there was phenomenal with that. And it was Everybody was in a good mood, and it was for a good cause. And Yeah. Yeah, the proceeds go to the Jordan Morgan Memorial Foundation. I mean, as you're talking about the teams, we had a team last year that unfortunately couldn't make it, but they said they donated a portion of their entry fee and said donated to the foundation. So grateful for that. But once again, we're, we're very happy to be a part of that one. That's awesome. That's awesome. It's, it's great. I think we have a, a, a really good baseball community. I really do. I, I love this baseball community. I think people do genuinely overall care about the people, and uh, and and it shows. It shows when they come out and support those types of uh, events. I think it's great. All right, guys. So anything we got? Nothing. We're we're good there. Just stay up to date. You got more stuff. Yeah, check the out. website. I mean, as far as events, I mean, they're at it daily. I know Jody in Tennessee. Um, They'll be starting to put their events on there for her region. Uh, we got some more directors coming on board in different areas. Uh, we'll have uh, Josh down in Kentucky. He's going to give it another go round. Uh, COVID hit them hard down there last, yeah. you know, last year as well. So he's going to come back in Kentucky this year and uh, in Springfield. So uh, we're excited. So just check the website daily for, you know. Now I want to ask you guys if, because uh, you did bring up Kentucky. And I remember last year, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm sorry. Uh, there was, you were looking at South Carolina too. Did that, has that rolled around at all? Right now it's, it, it's in limbo. It's just with the pandemic, we'll see what, you know, 2021 holds for South okay. Carolina. So okay. Just right. keep checking that website. You never know. <laughs> you never know what region will show up on that. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. All right. Well, we're going to finish up here, uh, today and, and, uh, just make sure guys, um, let, let, I, I don't want to spoil anything. I know we were talking a little bit before, but you might have some uh, some more opportunity to talk about some venues in the future. What do you guys got coming up here? Yep, you want to? I'll tell you what. If you don't mind, we can touch on some of the discount packages we got before we hit that. How about that? Let's do that. <laughs> Everybody you, likes. I like discounts. discounts. <laughs> hey, we got to talk money now. No. <laughs> No, once again, our multi-tournament discounts. I just wanted to throw it out there. Sure. Um, check the website. An email went out there about all the teams. Uh, three, you know, play more, you save more, basically. So right. uh, you get the link. Uh, we offer club discounts to clubs. The emails and stuff was sent out to the club administrators for the clubs. But check your deadlines. Check the deadlines. On the normal three, four, and five for 50 tournaments, it's March 7th, and the promo codes expire then. So uh, take advantage of them. Like I said, the more you play, the more you save. So um, the thing about that also for payments, payments do secure your spots in your events. That's what I want to touch on because most of our events last year, if not all of them, sold out. And people want to get in. We have a waiting list to eliminate, elimin eliminate being on that waiting list. Payment secures your spot. There and you with, go. in 2021 this year, credit cards, no processing fees. So whether you pay a check or credit card, no processing fees. So if you find a term that you want, sign up, pay for it, you're locked in. Wow. No processing fee. That's cool. So uh that, that I, you don't see that much. Hey, we go hey, wow. We listen to our customers, you know. We uh it's a customer service business, so we wanna treat them right it, it helps too because you're going to find when you go on and kind of tool around on the website you're going to notice some new buttons on there and uh, committed buttons and stuff so there's nothing in, around that uh if you want to secure your spot submit your payment online with the credit card there's no fees assessed to it so therefore boom you're in and you know 
that you're paid and your spot right there is solidified, you will not be bumped to the waiting list. Because what happens is, new in 2021, it's, like I said, the waiting list. We'll get teams, there's 10 or 15 on the waiting list, and then mm -hmm. they want to know, do I need to look somewhere else or I can do it? One way to do it, if you pay, you're in. So if you're not if you're not paid and you're registered, you will get bumped to the waiting list if a paid team comes on. So and that's fair. I understand that. People got to understand that. So don't get bumped, guys. Go ahead and get that payment in. And it's just a it's just a situation that that does make it easier and better. So well, and also too, if if you're keeping records with the team administrator, you're not only going to have that information in your dashboard on your Game Seven account, you can also have it in your Stripe account. So there's a, a paper trail of record when you paid, how much you paid, and very easy to communicate. And here's one of the, the great things is right now, if you're watching this, you're paying attention, we're giving you this information now. That's you you have it, you understand it, you know it, they're being upfront. This is as honest as it gets. It's transparency. You know what the rules are here and 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 that's the thing. I think that's the biggest thing is if I understand and know what I'm what I'm dealing with, then and they say, well, hey, you know, you, had, you didn't get the payment. These were, you got bumped. That's just the nature of it. That's the rules. Um, and we understand rules, right? And we have to abide by them. So well, that's at fair. At any time, time, too, communication is big with us. Drop us an email, text, or voicemail. We'll, we'll try to, we try to work through it as humanly possible. There's sometimes at our inbox, you click re refresh, and there's 10 more emails there. But uh, if you have any kind of questions or concerns regarding this, Please pick up the phone, email, call us. We'll work through it. Like you said, it's transparency. We want to get it out in front of you. Therefore, everybody's on the same page. Absolutely. And, Absolutely. The, and the key is, like, when you create your team and stuff, put put your head coach, put your team admin, put an assistant coach. There's three lines of contact on there to when these events, when there's alerts on these events. I mean, they'll notice in their dashboard there's different added features this year. Uh, one is an insurance tab. Mm -hmm. Where now, instead of coming to team check-in and saying, here's a copy of my insurance policy, you go to your, your admin, admin tab, you click on insurance, you can upload it right there online. And it'll be sent directly to us. It's in there for the year, and you're good to go. Very good. Very good. And so there's a lot of good information here, guys. Write it down. Understand, know how you're setting yourself in motion. And it makes it easier when they show up at the ballpark and it's check-in becomes a... Mm -hmm. A real quick process, doesn't it? It does. It does. <laughs> it, it, rosters, online rosters, the waivers, insurance, it's it's all online. They don't have to worry about carrying all a bunch of documents and papers to the tournament. You come up and say, hey, we're here. <laughs> Check in. <laughs> get your line of cards. And go play some ball. There you go, man. So, I love that. It makes it very easy to to just get to the ballpark, get yourself to, to get, get your team there. It, that's great stuff. Organized. Organized. Exactly. That's a great word for it. So we covered everything, guys? Pretty much. I mean, uh, look, look ahead. Look ahead. You know, future shows we might have. You know, we linger our way in here. You never know. We may be out <laughs> in our stocking cap at a at a, a, a new venue that we're going to have. So uh, you never know. So There you go. There you go. So you got to stay tuned. We're going to have these guys back on throughout the – throughout the off season talking uh, updates and, and new things coming, um, you know, and, and I think it'll be, uh, we definitely want to, to do that as the closer we get to the new, after the new year, uh, we'll know more about the Cardinal stuff as of January 15th. Right. So there's still a lot of stuff out there. Um, this is kind of getting everybody, you know, up to date on what's going on right now, guys, appreciate you coming in. Thanks for hey, having man, us. Thanks for having us. And uh, happy Thanksgiving to all out there. That's right. So, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Thanksgiving, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you guys got to tell me, what are you thankful for, Dave? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> thankful I, I, thankful I, for turkey. No, no. <laughs> hey, that's it. No, I'm with it. My health, health, family, uh, good partner. Ah, that's all right. There you go. I'll pay you after the show, brother. <laughs> No, I just I want everybody to stay healthy and safe, uh, you know, through the holidays and New Year, and, and happy Thanksgiving, happy holidays, to everybody. So very good, Mr. Penning, you gotta go, bro. Oh yeah, thankful. For
for my family. Great family. Like you said, great partner, good people like yourself, and yeah, uh, good you. customers. So, Yeah, thank you. Brian, hey, Justin. No, and, and honestly, guys, you know, with these, I, I put them on the spot. I didn't tell them they were going to, I was going to do that. So <laughs> that was kind of, ah! I was looking for that. <laughs> Thank, uh, thankful for understanding yeah. the family because once the season yeah. starts, uh, we don't get to see them as much. So yeah, it's 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 twelve months out of the year, three hundred sixty five days. You know, absolutely. But thank you for what you do. You've uh, Red Earth Productions, Youth Baseball, Baseball Midwest. Follow them, Facebook. I mean, you guys have grown as well. So we love growing together. We that's the thing, and and that's one of the things I'm thankful for. Is is uh, you know. When we brought all this together and I brought all this stuff to these guys back in 2017 and we started talking about this, here we sit. Um, I'm, I'm grateful for these guys and, and what they've allowed us to do and, and be part of your, uh, your Game 7 Baseball. Yeah, it's a partnership, Brian, and that's what it's based on. And we appreciate you, and uh, hopefully it works out for you as good as it's working out for us. So that's how we like to operate here at Game 7. And like Dave said, very thankful for you. Yeah, we appreciate you guys as well. So, hey, everybody have a, uh, you know, happy Thanksgiving. And uh, we appreciate you joining us today. And uh, all you pitchers, remember, keep throwing strikes. You hitters, hit them where they ain't. And uh, we'll see you next time.